gentlemen, and welcome back to another BHL live stream. We're live on BSN as well as my <laughs> YouTube channel. Tonight's game is the visiting sh uh, yeah. <laughs> Indianapolis Racers taking on the Shenandoah Scorched, who are coming off a huge win in Hartford that clinched them a playoff spot. Tonight's game, they look to solidify their positioning and figure out where they're going to be come the first round. In the meantime, Hold on. I, I'm adding um, I'm adding Buckus Knuckles to the <laughs> Oh, Blackus. Um, should we move to officials box? Uh, are we arriving? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, we can do that. All right, peace out, stream. We'll come yeah. back to you. You gotta, you gotta slide me over there, flashy. Oh, okay. Bruh. BMP? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, hi. Center ice for the face-off, Cujo and Brandon. Yeah, this is going to be a lot better now. This is going to be an interesting game. We are on a brand new server for this one. One that shouldn't lag at all. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Team join ref. Let's... Cause a bit of lag right there real quick. Team join ref. Okay. And then, I mean, we, could, we probably should still, for optimal performance, still remove pucks and stuff, but... Oh, do they need me to do that? I don't know. Just make sure. Alright, we're ready to go, right? Yep. Taking the face off for Indianapolis is Cujo, who we... How long has it been since Cujo's played a game? He played the last game. Oh. The last time they played. Well, Puck's on the ice. We're back in our way. Cujo into the offensive zone. One of the better players for Indianapolis. And one of the reasons that Indianapolis has won two of the last three Stanley Cup, or BHL Cups. Not Stanley oh, Cup. infrin copyright infringement. Yeah. Uh... Offensive zone, Brandon has it, and he's going to do the same tactic that he did against the Whalers that worked so well. However, the Racers have it again. Racers obviously watching that one, and, and especially Andy Lukes, who was the referee of that game, knows a little bit of what this Scorch team is capable of doing defensively, and they're going to be able to counter it a little bit more. Brandon brings it into neutral territory. Trying to advance it further, and he gets around Indy Lukes, but Cujo will get it out. Played here by Indy. Brought to the near side, and Cujo sends it in. Rojo got it out, but it was retrieved and brought back in. Now, big check there by Indy Lukes, and Brandon back to neutral territory on a breakaway. Brandon... And a good defensive play to break that one up. Centered back out front, and Cujo breaks that one as up as well. Cujo, as the puck comes into the corner, Brandon. Far side played by Cujo. Centered, and Rojo broke that one up. The 
the rebound opportunity blocked by Rojo as well, and he'll put it to the near side corner. Brandon trying to work it out, and he does. Walks back into the offensive zone, and Cujo is going to push it further. And now there will be a whistle, and this is actually going to be called offsides. And that is the absolutely right call there. Looking back at the replay, Cujo is well offside. Buck back in. And now Indy Luke's with it. And now a penalty coming to Indy. And Indy Luke's goes to the box. I think you can justify that call. We get an offensive zone face off for the power play, 241 to go. A hit and Oilerator just came out of the stands. I think the solution to that problem is to demote Oilerator enough so as to not allow him to change game modes. Unfortunately, because he's a team owner, he can. Brandon <coughs> fears it out, and then he overstepped it. See, even the best make mistakes. Cujo, and he's got the zone. But the penalty is killed, and the, or excuse me, and the penalty is killed off. And now break away for Brandon. All alone, Steve by wave. Brought back to the near side. Brandon brings it back in. Has it in the corner. Played across. Andy Lukes intercepts the clearing attempt. Now far side. Indy. A big check there. Now it comes back across. Cujo regains the zone. Good back check by Brandon. And he's going to try and center it for Indy. Indy wasn't quite where the puck ended up, and so the shot doesn't get off. And now breakaway, Brandon, saved by Wave, back out. And Brandon's going to send it back in. Ran in again. Still there. Now it's back to neutral territory. Cujo bringing it back to the near side. He's got the zone. Takes the shot off the post. Hits the post, Cujo. And we'll get a stoppage of play. And it's cleared out. Brandon. Trying to get through center and he can't quite do that. Sounded like there was a whistle there, but there wasn't. And it comes back out. Brandon, breakaway. Shot scores! There's another one for Brandon. And the Scorched have the lead. 20 seconds left. Yep. Shenandoah That's just a bad break. Shenandoah <clears throat> has a huge possibility. They have a big possibility of uh, winning the cup this season based on their play. They've beat just about everybody. They're going to redo yeah. the face off here. Yep. They've got to add three seconds back to the clock. They won't. <laughs> now Indy Lukes. Sent out the way, trying to find Cujo. And that's going to end up on the bench, out of play.
face off. And it's won by Brandon. However, Cujo brings it in. And now an opportunity. Oh. Here it comes to an end. He might have gotten one shot away. And it would have been a great scoring opportunity, but hey, wait. it didn't go. We had an invisible ref on the ice there at the last four seconds. Face off. And it comes to the near side. One, I guess you would say, by Brandon. I don't know who really won that face off there. And Indy Luke's just gave away a loose puck. Break away for Brandon. And both defensemen get back for Indianapolis. Back into neutral territory. Now, the, we've talked about this before this season. And last season, too. Bunching. And that seems to be a lot of what the racers are doing right now. They were quite bunched as they came through neutral territory. And as they oh, were... Oh, and that's a penalty. Zone. Now, penalty Should have been... Up, but... Defensively, the... Whalers or the racers having a bit of fun. Oh, so to speak. It gives him 60, 60 seconds on accident there. And uh, interference is going to be the final verdict. He'll get a half a minute for that. So now uh, the Scorch can, and we're going to have to ban oil from the game. Fan interference, definitely a thing. Fan interference, and he, security take him out, and he will lose his seats for the game. Bucks played on the far side, that'll lot. Also end up out of play. Brandon. Brings it across. Now he's got the zone. And he looks intercepts, and that'll be the end of the power play. And so Cujo's got the puck in the zone. Brandon plays far side. One goal lead for Shenandoah, and this one's a much closer game than the one we saw in Hartford. However, the racers still need to find a way to score one. Cujo has regained the zone. Shot blocked by Rojo, and he'll bring it back across. Brandon slots it through Indy. And now he'll try and progress further. Cujo, though, tr picks up the, the turnover and has it in the offensive end. The opportunity didn't get up, or got blocked by Rojo. And now... Brandon with it again. Cujo battles with Brandon for it. And Brandon dangerously centers it, but they get it back all the way across to the opposite side. But Cujo's got it back in. Indy couldn't get a shot away. And now it's back on the near side boards. Brandon through neutral. Played here. Not on net, but Andy Lukes clears it from danger. Cujo through center. Turned over. And it's picked off by Brandon. Cujo, though, retrieves it. And Brandon with a big check there! Cujo, and he'll clear the zone. Offensive zone for Cujo. Big check there on Rojo, then he hopped over the puck. Didn't get a shot off. Buck comes out into the neutral zone. Played along the blue line and now out. 
Andy Lukes forwards it and trying to get it in. Can't quite do so. Played by Brandon. Who lofted in. And a big check there by Cujo. Slightly late hit, but still pretty clean nonetheless. Opportunity there. Oh. And Cujo's turned aside. Another chance, too. And it's cleared all the way out. Slowed along the boards. Opportunity for the scorch. Didn't capitalize. And now Cujo <gasps> with an opportunity. He's had a couple great chances, but hasn't capitalized. Cujo trying to feed Indy. But Indy wasn't hungry, and so the scorched get it out. One nothing. Shenandoah leads. Kujo just jumped over the puck there and missed a very good chance um, on that previous play. A very close chance. They had to tie the game up. Brandon has it in. Puck's out of the zone. Kujo through neutral territory. Back across. Kujo shot scores! Kujo ties it! Short-handed, too. <laughs> Short-handed goal, and the racers knotted up at one. Breakaway goal for Cujo. That seems to be the best way to score in this league. But the racers kill the penalty and get one back here. Brandon trying to retaliate. Has it in the offensive zone, but he's got no help from friends as Cujo comes through neutral. Cujo trying to go two for two, and he doesn't get it. Brandon, near side, brought off the boards by Cujo, but Rojo denied that. And now it's played to the blue line. Held in, and then it was cleared on the second attempt, and now Brandon had an opportunity for a breakaway, but... It will not end up as one. Breaking in. Shot oh. scores! Brandon! And the Racers take the lead! Brandon has scored all of the Racers' goal, or the Racers' Scorch. scorched goals. In the most recent games, I wonder if he scored. I wonder when the la when was the last time that Rojo or anybody else on this racer squad or squirt squad rather is actually on <laughs> one. Yeah, I agree. The um, Brandon's back better be heavy from all this carrying he's doing. Well, I don't know that it's so much carrying the entire team as it is carrying the offense. That is true. He's this definitely Rojo's, an offensive Rojo's been player. been stellar on defense. It's just Brandon's been the one getting every single goal. And you got to think at some point your defensemen are going to convert. There's two guys on the ice other than the goaltender, and both of them can shoot. So you got to wonder why... Brandon's got all the, the goals. This puck has just ended up in the spec or in the player area twice. And watch out down there. Second. And that's good. <laughs> that that ends up on the in between the glass. Flashy, you okay down there? Oh, I'm okay. Just grazed me. And that's gonna end up. <laughs> Right in front of Buckus Nuckus. I think that's Who's... Black. I think that's Black. No, no that's that not. Is not. That's not Blackus. That's, um, that's someone else. Is he a racer? 
He is not, as far as I'm aware. Unless it's a name change, but I don't, I'm not sure. In the meantime, Brandon brings it in. Breakaway, and a check there by Indy broke it up, and Cujo picks up the loose change, and he'll put it right back in front of you. And look, you got a souvenir. Hey, my second one. Back yeah, Buckets Nuckus is, is nobody we know. I just did a quick background check. Okay. Brandon clears it out, and now an opportunity, and a huge and... collision there! Brandon not gonna touch the puck, Cujo does, and we'll get a power play for Shenandoah. And this has been one of the big strengths of the Shenandoah Scorch. They have taken so very few penalties, and they've drawn plenty, and it's probably part of the reason that they are where they are in the standings. And he plays it into the corner wisely to make an attempt to kill this penalty, and Brandon corrals it again, curls it across, and the shot attempt didn't go. Indy. Trying to elevator it out, and now he does. Picked up by Rojo. Offensive zone, Brandon. But the penalty has been killed, and so Indy going to try <laughs> to find a friend up ice. Now Brandon gets it back in. Cujo. Slipping it past Brandon, but Brandon holds his ground. Got it back in. And now Cujo slips through center. Indy couldn't get it, and now two on one the other way. What a save by Wave! And Rojo's going to wind it up, the clapper, and it goes right into Indy Luke's. Gosh, he's got to be earning after that one. What a slap shot, by the way. It's <coughs> Even better you, block. It's rare that you get slap shots in this game, and that's why you, you saw that Indy Luke's just came right out, took it, to a T, took his man and made the stop that needed to be made. We're under two minutes, meaning that the Racers can pull the goaltender now, and they're only trailing by one. We'll see what they can get done. That rhyme. <laughs> Here's a breakaway for Brandon. Shot saved by Wave, and it's back out. Breakaway the other, or good opportunity the other way. Denied by Rojo, and now Cujo's got it back in. End-to-end -end action in this one. Brandon tried to slip it past Indy, but Indy squeezed, up, uh, squeezed it off, kept it alive. And now Cujo. One minute. Final minute of play. And Cujo battling with Brandon. Brandon can't pass Indy. <gasps> Loose oh. puck, and the racers didn't recognize it, and the scorched get lucky and put it out of play. Brandon. Oh, another bad turnover. And Cujo couldn't get the shot. Couldn't and that plays ball. offside. Shot saved there by Henry. Still alive. Cujo again. And if they if they score here, this goal is going to come back because that play was offside. And now Brandon <clears throat> now it won't matter. Away. Screeching in scores, and there's the hat trick. Brandon has been on fire for the Shenandoah Scorch these last couple of games. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's his seventh goal in the last two. And I, I looked at the replay and it was not offside. He just barely tagged up on it, so take that back. 
unfortunate for the racers, but lucky for the scorched, they win. And where does that put them in the standings, Flashy? Let's take a look. Because, as, as uh, mentioned in my description anyway, this is the final ma the final game of the season between these two teams. Well, and it's also the the final game of the season for these two teams. Yep. There's so Shenandoah bumps up to second place, pushing Indy in third and Hollywood in fourth. Hollywood plays Hartford tonight for the and... final regular season game, and then next weekend is the first round of playoffs. Which I believe the first round is best of five, or is it still best of three? Flashy. Hmm. I think uh, Dampy was asking you a question. Um, best of five Sorry. or best of three for the first round. All right, guys, let's change worlds. Um, the first round is best of three still. Okay. So we continue with the old format, or the current format, actually. So Shenandoah gets a win, and Indy gets a loss. So Shenandoah, so, so I believe the standings right now are Hornets, Scorched, Racers, and Hattricks, followed by the Whalers out of a playoff spot, and the Ice Caps also out of a playoff spot. This marks the first time, I believe, the Whalers have missed the playoffs. Am I correct? Yes, this is the first time that the Whalers missed the playoffs, and it will also be the first time that an ex that an expansion team doesn't make the playoffs in their first season. Yeah, that's also true. <clears throat> um, yep, so Shenandoah will have clinched second place now. Um, Hollywood can only steal third third place, and they will if they win. If Yo, they flat. win, it will come down to uh, it will come down to goal differential. Well, thank you so much for tuning into this one. We'll be right back on my channel with some more Hollywood hack trick hockey. But for BSN, and well, BSN will be back with the game, but it won't be Coming from me and Flash, it'll be from a different set of commentators, but thank you for tuning into this one. I've been Flashy, and I've done this once before. I've been DNP, and alongside me has been Flashy. I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Thank you for tuning in to BSN. We'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BHL live stream. I am... Well, we're waiting for idiots to leave our Discord server, but yeah. For now, yeah, we're well, yeah, we're actually, yeah, we're.